Hey guys, this is going to be a slightly different version of my favorite episode of Producer Mad here. So, when we were recording last week's episode of Unspaced with the word burglar Sean Jordan, uh, there was this moment for about 10 minutes where we got into a brief conversation about, you know, things that were going on with the pandemic, and then that kind of led into talking about Netflix and recommending some movies and TV shows and stuff to Sean, and it didn't really fit into the spaced episode, but I thought it was a really fun, interesting conversation. So because we're a little behind on our recording schedule, I wanted to release this as kind of a mini episode as opposed to just not releasing anything this week, but... Sound off. Uh, shoot us some emails. If you really enjoy this shorter episode, um, maybe we'll start putting out some bonus episodes of some of these like conversations that don't really belong in the episode that I always end up cutting. Because I, it happens frequently. We'll record for at least an hour on every single episode, but then I'll usually trim it to about 45 minutes or sometimes even shorter than that. So if you want me to release some of these deleted episodes every once in a while i'll be happy to make a mental note to save it so just let us know thank you guys for supporting us we are so close to episode 50 it's not even funny it had been my dream to do episode 50 as our first live episode but obviously um with things happening in the world that's probably not going to happen so who knows maybe episode 100 episode 100 will do as our first live episode if julie and kathleen will ever agree to it but please enjoy this little bonus episode we'll be back with a regular episode next week. Thanks for listening, guys. You're the best. Have you seen any of, like, Derek or Afterlife or anything like that? Oh, what's that one? Yes, I... Yeah, yeah, I actually... I like extras, I think, the best of the Ooh, I've never seen that. post office. Yeah, extras was really funny. Damn. I've seen all the new ones because I really loved Derek. I thought that was so well done. And Afterlife is good too, but I liked Derek the best, I think. Yeah, Afterlife is really good. It's, I just it's think Ricky, funny and yeah. dark, but sweet. Yeah. I just think it's like relatable almost, even though it is dark. Like He doesn't do oh, these like over-the-top type of comedies are just kind of i don't know i like it i haven't seen them in a while but how are you i mean we can take this off air but how are you how are things going in toronto because i just had a client call with one of my clients in toronto and she was saying how strict it was like they're finally open opening up like parks and stuff but since march like everything was closed oh yeah yeah things have been things have been very strict here um i've been limiting like definitely like march april and may were pretty you know pretty crazy kind of walking dead meets the purge right yeah. but uh but for the best right you yep. know, yeah we've been what do they say flattening you know, the curve flattening the curve yeah. yeah so that's that's been good and we're still limiting social you know social distancing is, is still in effect and anyways we don't need you know what it's things hopefully you know we're gonna have a better tomorrow and that's uh you know we just gotta stay positive right and, Too true. and look wh- what's the last pandemic that had netflix Right? I know. <laughs> that is so true. Oh my God. That's amazing. You know, so <laughs> it, it ain't all bad. It could be worse. I mean, that's true. Spanish flu, they didn't get to rewatch Stranger Things done time. <laughs> yeah. I, mean... I should rewatch Stranger Things. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, that's When's the, the next best. one come out? Uh, I think Halloween. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, from what season? When's the last. Season three. It came out last summer? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't. I feel like it's. I liked it a lot too. I love, yeah, I love I love Stranger Things. I just didn't think it would have been eligible for this Emmys because it, fe- it feels like it's been a while. But well, I just like <laughs> Dustin and Steve need a spinoff. And what's like uh, Robin? Oh, she's so good. Love those three. Anyway, I would, well, you guys are TV experts, and I we watch a ton of stuff. And like I love Netflix. I tend to watch of the streaming. I watch Netflix the most. Same. So I'm always curious. Like, what are your favorite like original Netflix only cool. shows? Atypical is our number one on this pod. We love okay. it. Two-thirds. Yeah, yeah I've never she hasn't seen it. it yet, but it is really, really well done. I'm trying to think Netflix originals. I have a couple movies I really like. Ne- oh, the OA it got canceled way too soon. Oh, my one of I my love fa- the OA so much. So good. I remember 
Season two dropped and I was coming, I was at work tapping my foot being like, I need to watch the next episode. I'm dying. I'm literally dying. I couldn't wait. And then they canceled it and I'm still campaigning for a season three. Oh my God. Listen, if you hear any campaigns or anything, let me know. I, okay. You know how season two ends? Yes. Doesn't it feel like if it restarted as a new show with a different title, it, they could do it. And like, are you familiar with the term kayfabe? No. What's that? Kayfabe is like, yeah, it's an old school wrestling term, which is basically like you don't break kayfabe, which is like the illusion that all these wrestlers are like, this is who they really are when really they're essentially actors right. playing all these things. So you don't break kayfabe. I think that this, if the OA were to like do this crazy fake out, like this kayfabe fake out and come back, because originally when season two ended, I swear I read somewhere that Netflix renewed it for season three. And then like a month or two later, like Britt Marling's like, no, it's not coming back. We're it sucks, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's terrible. But I'm wondering, oh my can you imagine if it came back as a whole other show? Are you starting rumors or did you hear read this somewhere? This is me hoping. <laughs> that would thinking, be incredible. It is yo, so this is me think hoping they are as smart as me. <laughs> and if and if this actually happens, we are gonna take this clip, save this clip, Matt, because then we're gonna sue. You're gonna get <laughs> be like he Can said. Can you it imagine first. though? That would like be if, epic. If I all of a sudden this new show. show comes back and Britt Marling's on it, and uh, what's his name, Jason? Uh, you know, the Harry Potter bad guy. What's his name? Oh, uh, Voldemort in real IRL. Yeah, what's Voldemort. his name? Yeah, uh, Jason. He's so good. And I just on the tip of my tongue. He's in the Star Trek. You know, he's in the Star Trek with the Discovery <laughs> and they do the things. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, whatever that guy. If they're in another show, it's definitely going to be like the OA season three just called something else. Wow. So that would be that, incredible. You should put that in the atmosphere. We should just post this and send it to Brit. And she it would like, be <gasps> the ultimate thing ever. And I love Brit Marling. I think like there, she did this movie called Another Earth. Have you ever seen that? No. Did she write it? Yeah. That makes sense because she. Wrote That's a must OA. watch if you love the OA. Another people, Earth. Some people hate the OA too. Sorry, I could talk. This is great. I'm Me talking too. To some I love it. TV geeks. Oh. This is great. The, the OA, Matt, you should watch the OA. It's incredible. Jason Isaacs. Oh, yeah, it's not Voldemort. Yeah, it's Isaacs. Voldemort, now I know. Malfoy. He's the bad guy. I forgot. I totally, yeah. totally forgot who exactly you were referencing. But yeah, they just, Matt, it's like season one is one thing, and then season two is just a completely new thing. And then season three was going to be another completely new thing almost, but with the same. Ca- oh, it's. Even though it uh, got canceled, OA. I still think it's worth it as it's like standalone two seasons. Have you watched Dark? I was just going to say Dark is my next one. So so yeah. I watched season one as soon as Don't it came out and these. loved it. No, I won't. And then when season two came out, I'm like, okay, I got to rewatch season one because it was such a mind fuck before I watched season two. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden season three came out. Time just flew by. So I have not seen two or three, but I loved season oh, one. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm halfway through season three and there has... No, nothing in that show has disappointed me. You know how sometimes you can like poke holes through yeah. stuff. Oh my like, god! Oh, this this doesn't make sense. This character wouldn't do that. Oh, this is dumb. Yeah, Blah. especially something uh, as convoluted as dark. Yeah, dark with is, the timelines oh, and everything. I can't wait to see how they end it. But I think it's that and Stranger Things and OA are probably my top three Netflix originals yeah so if you if you try on atypical it's not like these shows at all it's not sci-fi it's basically a high functioning um kid with autism and it's his family life and it's the most charming sweetest show in the whole world and it'll make you laugh it'll make you cry it's just so good it's like friendship and family but really easy watch there's three seasons a fourth and final season's coming out soon but they're only like 25 minute episodes you just you'll just crush it it's so charming and cute Yeah. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. It'll make you live. It'll make you die. (laughs) It really is. It's one of my top favorite of all times, like not even just Netflix original. Nice. I've rewatched it a few times. It's easy. Yeah. When they, when they get a good one, they really do. So, and like we were saying here, the boys earlier on Amazon, like that show is so good. Yep. That one's really, Matt, do you watch the boys? I just added it. Yeah. Oh, you'll crush it. My, so I have a, another podcast as well that we deep dive like episode by episode in the series and that's going to be our next one the boys season two nice. we can't wait nice 
I'd there's say. some crazy stuff because I have all the comics and like there's stuff in the comics I'm still like how are they gonna do this on the show but they pulled off some crazy stuff in season one so uh, I they, have the they... boys comics like the book ver- like not the individual comics but the like bigger big volume boys sitting next to my bed and I, it's been sitting there for like months and I haven't picked it up yet because I'm like I'm gonna rewatch the show, then I'm gonna do boys, and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna read the comic, and then I'm gonna do season two. Yeah. But I love There's a good some graphic, gross novel. stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. You'll crush that. This has been my favorite episode of. My favorite episode of is produced by Matt Kelly as part of the Geekscape Network and hosted by Julie and Kathleen. Check out our show notes for all of our socials and email us at myfavoriteepisodepodcast at gmail.com. Rate, review, and subscribe to us on your favorite podcasting apps, and we'll be back next week with another episode of My Favorite Episode Of. You're listening to the Geekscape Network. You're listening to the Geekscape Network.